What's up everybody? It's Retro Circle checking in for video number two. I've got my kids with me. We've got a huge Marvel unboxing. And a little bit more of a room tour since you guys asked for it. We've got my oldest right here, my middle child right here. He's on the Game Boy. And this guy is Mr. Paw Patrol. All right, guys, we have a box with 25 figures in it. Um, there is one Ninja Turtle. That's actually why I bought the lot. But most of these are vintage Iron Man. And there's a few of the Iron Man movie mock figures. So let's get right into it. If you guys watched our video last time, you know we unboxed a huge TMNT lot. Here is the sewer playset from that. We are missing three pieces, the cardboard piece, the steps, and the wire. So those should be fairly easy to get. Um, over here, we have a lot of the figures that we are keeping from that series. Now this is not a TMNT video, but I did want to show you guys a quick preview of what we got. Still waiting for those 1,000 subscribers so we can give away this guy, Dr. Eel, complete out of the box. But let's get into what we came for. All right, I'm just gonna take these out the box, sit them on the floor, and at the end we can kind of go over all of them. So first off, we have a Iron Man, I don't think it has, projector. Oh, this is one of the light up ones. I actually have another figure, Cyclops, that lights up, but he's not in the box. All right, and this is a lot that I found locally, guys. Again, this usually doesn't happen, but I found some pretty good stuff locally this week. Very cool figure. All right, up next, we have one of those Walmart collector packs. I remember these. I think they came out in 1995. Yep. Okay, this one has the thing and war machine in it. Now guys, I think this is gonna go right into the collection. This is a really cool piece. Let's put it down, get on into some more. We've got a few of the bigger figures. Don't remember these from my childhood, but they are very cool. <coughs> fin Fang Foom, excuse you son and Arius. Now these are pretty big. I would say 10 inch figures at least. Uh, this one has been trying to get one of them from me all day, but I don't know. I kind of want to put these in the collection. I think they would look good up there somewhere. These are really cool figures. All right, guys, this is actually the main reason I bought this box. Uh, this carded Raphael Star Trek figure has been punched and it is a little bent, but for the price that I paid for this box, I got about I got all these figures for about three dollars a piece. And this was one I really wanted. Very excited to add him onto the wall. We've got another one of these Walmart combo packs. Dr. Doom and Iron Man. This one too, I believe I'll be keeping. I'm not sure how many of these double packs that there were, but I might actually want to start collecting these things. Maybe we'll see if we can get all these in the months to come. All right, guys, keep on digging. There's a lot more in here. We've got one of the heavy metal figures. War Machine versus Mook. I don't remember these, but I believe there are two of these in this lot. 1994, okay. I was a little young. And there also are some of the newer Spider-Mans. I'll kind of show you these a little bit faster because they're not quite as cool. And I know there is a huge market for collecting them. Uh, these are the three and a half inch Mark III and Mark IV figures. Um, I think 
there were multiple ones of these and then you get a special piece with each each one like this one has a chest plate and this one has a missile hand so again these are very cool all right guys next up we've got this version of iron man space armor not the most intricate figure i've ever seen but again a very cool figure i love the boxing on this old marvel iron man stuff and the old spider-man the boxes really really used to attract me when i was a kid here we've got a war machine i think it's kind of the same as the other one very nice figure there are a lot more of these things than i can remember I think this one has been open before. He's probably the only one that I believe has been open. Alright guys, there's a whole bunch of just the regular carded Iron Man figures. Got Backlash. I had this figure when I was a kid. I really love this guy. I'm glad to put him back into the collection. Uh, we got War Machine again. Can you imagine trying to have all these pieces if you were trying to build a figure? I know most of them got lost, so that's, that's really cool to still have in the box. Mandarin, another very cool figure. We've got some of the Iron Man movie stuff, the Walmart specials. Apparently Walmart really liked Iron Man. I don't remember. I didn't go to Walmart to shop for toys very much. But uh, I'm learning through this lot that a lot of these were Walmart special. This is a really cool one. It's another one that my kids tried to get from me. Alright guys. We've got Hawkeye. Another really cool figure. Uh, we may be auctioning a few of these off. If you guys would like to know, I could leave the link. Gray Gargoyle, that is a very cool figure. He'll be going into the collection. Alright guys, the box is getting low. We have about seven or eight left. So, we have Blizzard. Another really cool figure. Spidey Woman. I think these are more common, you know, us guys didn't like to get the girl figures when we were kids, so they're kind of common now. Alright, we have Iron Monger and another really cool Iron Man 2 figure. These are very, very cool. Uh, last two vintage ones we have, we have an Iron Man with that same bodysuit. Very cool figure. And we have another set of heavy metals. So these I'm pretty excited about. Iron Man and Mandarin. They'll be going right into the collection. And last one, guys. We have this Iron Man Repulsor Power. Uh, I actually remember when this thing came out. Uh, I think he might have actually had one when he was little and he doesn't remember it. He's too into the game right now. They were so excited to do this unboxing, and yet they don't pay attention. Any of you kids do that to you? Alright guys, here they are spread out. Maybe we can get a better view. There are 25 figures here. Um, most of them are from 2000... Well, not most of them, but some of them are from 2007 and 2008, but most of them are from 1995, 1994. Very excited to add this to the collection, guys. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be keeping them all because Iron Man is not what I primarily collect, but these are just too cool to get rid of. I think maybe we'll get rid of the newer ones because I'm not really into new Marvel. 
maybe find a way to keep a lot of these. I don't know, we're kind of getting a little full. Maybe some of my wife's stuff could go. I don't know if she would like that. I also picked these up earlier this week. One dollar for these sets. They're really cool. Uh, I had a lot of the homies. I didn't have the bikers, but I did add them to the collection for a buck. Uh, so yeah, guys, let me know what you think, and let's keep working to get to that thousand subscribers so we can give away our Dr. Eel. And I think we will do a reveal for all the figures that we got in that last lot and show you which ones I actually decided to keep and which ones we are getting rid of. Love this bone frog. Alright guys, we'll check back in next time for another video. We will be getting some more lots later this week and I can't wait to show you them. Retro Circle out!